What's up guys, my name is Brandon and I am an Apple fanboy. I will admit it, I am an Apple fanboy, but I'm open-minded and I'm open to other devices. I've used an iPhone ever since the iPhone 3GS, never had a Samsung phone, never had a Galaxy phone or anything like that. But today we are taking a look, we're changing things up. We're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S8. We're gonna unbox it, go through the setup process and just take a look and give you my first impressions from an Apple fanboy perspective. All right, so let's go ahead and cut open the FedEx box. And here is the S8. I did get the S8 Plus. Let's set that down there, set all this to the side. So there is the box of the S8. It's a really cool looking box. I really like the look of this box. And you can see right there, I did get the midnight black colorway. Let's go ahead and take this out of this part. So we're just gonna open up the box like this and we're presented right away with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Wow, this thing feels a lot skinnier. I mean, I've held it in hand before, but still, it just seems so skinny compared to what I was expecting. Go ahead and set that to the side and check out what else is in the box. We have our pamphlet here, which is gonna be all of our, I guess, quick start guide and pretty much everything about the S8. We also have a uh, semi-jack tool right there, which is something I do wish the iPhone came with because I always have to use like a little clothespin or something like that. We'll set that to the side and check that out here in a minute. So we also have an AC plug right here. So this is just how we charge the S8. Then inside of here, it looks like we have a USB connector. So this is just a USB to USB type C, USB A to USB type C. And then we have another, I believe this is a micro SD to USB C. So let's check out. So yeah, it says micro USB connector. That's all for that little spot right there. Let's go ahead to the other section here. And we have the, is this, the, no, this isn't headphones. This is the charging cable. This is the type C to type A. Uh, cable for charging. And then we have the AKG headphones right here. So I'm really interested in checking these out and seeing how they compare to maybe the AirPods or maybe just the default stock Apple headphones because these are a $100 value. These are, I guess, $100 headphones. Uh, so really interested to check these out. Make sure you stay tuned for a full review on these headphones along with the S8 and tons of tests. So set that to the side and that is everything for the box. Let's go ahead and take the S8 over here, set this box to the side. So here is the back of the S8. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel off the plastic right here and there is what the back of the s8 looks like we do have this little um, qr code looking thing right here not too sure what that is again i'm new to samsung i'm new to galaxy so i don't know these small things like this so i can already tell just from looking at this thing and putting my finger on it and they, look at that there's a fingerprint right there already so this is going to be a major fingerprint magnet just like the jet black iphone 7 was then let's flip it around to the front and take the front plastic off just like that. And taking a look at the screen, this is a 6.2 inch screen. This is the plus model. So it's a 6.2 inch QHD plus super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2960. Then on the back here, you can see right in the middle, we have a 12 megapixel camera with an F 1.7 aperture and OIS. Make sure to stay tuned for a full review and comparison to the iPhone 7 plus of this S8 plus camera. Uh, so let's go ahead and flip it around and take a look at the boot up process and the setup process for the S8 plus. Hello, so I did get the Verizon model. So you can see we have this blue button up top there. Pretty quick boot up process, I'd say. All right, so there is the welcome screen. We're just gonna go ahead and hit next. And of course, it's gonna have to activate the phone. We're gonna go ahead and get a new angle for this. All right, so it shows the phone was activated and it shows my phone number right there. Go ahead and click next. Now we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi. Then it wants us to sign into Google. I'm gonna skip this for now just so we can go ahead and get to the home screen. So it's saying that you need to sign in just so you can download apps and things like that. So pretty much just like the iPhone, how you have to sign into the app store. I'm just gonna skip this for now though. We just have to agree to a few things and hit next. Then we have to enter in our name. And now we have the option to set up facial recognition, fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, or just a regular pin passcode. Let's go ahead and do fingerprint scanner and see what it's like. Go ahead and hit next. So it says you need to add a pin to use the fingerprint scanner, which is very similar to the iPhone and the uh, fingerprint sensor on there. So let's go ahead and hit on, we're just gonna do pin just because I'm not used to doing patterns. So we'll just go ahead and do pin for now. We'll just do do not require. I like that that's an option. That is not an option on iOS. Now we're gonna turn the phone around and use the fingerprint scanner here on the back right next to the camera. I mean, that, that is definitely a reach. I mean, I know everybody's talking about it, but it is definitely a reach. 73% kind of just getting different angles of my index finger. All right, so there we go. We have our fingerprint added. Now you have the notification settings here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit done. Keep that at default and hit next. And now we are completing the setup. And now we have our email set up. I'm also gonna skip this and set that up later. Then you have the option to sign into your Samsung account, set up your smartwatch and have screen zoom and font set up. I'm just gonna skip all this. And now it says we are ready to go. Let's just hit got it 
And now we are on the home screen. This is the Samsung Galaxy S8. This is what the home screen looks like. Man, it just looks beautiful. If we go ahead and swipe to the left, you can see here we have Hello Bixby, which Bixby is the new voice assistant uh, on this device. So we have Hello Bixby here, pretty much just like Hello Siri. We'll set that up at a later time. So I'm just gonna go to Chrome here and go to like apple.com. <laughs> I know it's gonna make some people mad. So man, that was pretty quick. That loaded up very quick. You see the little bubbles at the top? That's pretty weird. Maybe that's always on Samsung, but I wouldn't know because I have not had a Samsung. But you see, when you go to the top and the bottom, I just noticed that little wave, you know, form there. Pretty much just indicating that you're at the top or the bottom of the page. And if you swipe up, you can see you get a refresh button, which is nice. I tell you what, when I press that home button, it really feels like the iPhone. It feels just like the iPhone uh, when you press the home button. So I want to compare the S8 and the iPhone side by side. So you can see that they're pretty much the same size. Regardless of the big 6.2 inch display, they're actually pretty much the same size. Take a look at that. Look how similar they are in size. And you can see a comparison of the bottom of both devices there as well. And I do just wanna mention that the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus do have stereo speakers. So they have downward facing and front facing speakers. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy S8 just has one downward facing speaker, which is gonna be very annoying. So yeah, I'm gonna be using both of these devices on a daily basis for at least the next month or so just so I can give you guys a proper full review and comparison to the iPhone 7 Plus. So make sure to stay tuned for a lot more videos coming on the Samsung Galaxy S8 comparisons, reviews, you know, just from a point of view from somebody that's been with Apple for many, many years and has never had a Samsung phone. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure to subscribe, like I said, for a lot more coverage on the Samsung Galaxy S8. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.